kept getting when I was meditating clear my deck <clears throat> here in your honesty era the card that's on the floor says true offering yeah you're in your honesty era and you're getting these offerings because you're in your honesty era you're standing in your truth you're living your best life you're living the path that you're supposed to live yeah, it's the guidance that you're receiving. Now, this guidance might be from a friend, a family member, or a confidant, but it's like the guidance you're receiving from the friend or this confidant is confirming the things you're going through in your current life. Now, this person, this confidant, this person has no really clue what you're going through. And when I, when I mean no clue, they don't have the details. Like they don't know when you wake up what you do, when you go to sleep what you do, the, the comings and goings of your household. They don't know those things, but they can intuitively know because they are, they are of the anointed. They can tell by your tone of voice. They can tell by the patterns of your communication that you're ending a cycle, trying to start a new one, or clearing energy. So because of those things and the help from that person, you're being able to smoothly walk into your your um your abundance era. I was gonna say guided into your abundance era, but this person is guiding you into your abundance era because sometimes when you're a spiritual person and you have love in your life and love in your heart, just in general, and you wanna spread that around to people, you kinda get blinded by people who have been in your life for a long time and you wanna give them that love too because in your mind, um, inherently they are grandfathered in to your new abundance, but Grandpa's dead, okay? <laughs> Grandpa is dead, all right? And then, and then grandfather into my new abundance. Yes, intuition has popped out. Pay attention to your intuition. Also, this person that you're talking to or these people um, is helping you with um, your intuition and intuition and or maybe tuition. Maybe this person is helping you with your tuition and intuition. But 444 on my TV right now, you might have been confused about your intuition or the people around you, yes, Spirit, thank you, the people around you made you feel like your intuition wasn't the truth. Tell me not to take that long. Hold on. Except for the last card, go to this deck. So let's see, people. Drink your water, get out in grass, sit in grass. Touch the lawn. They have a fireplace by a fireplace. Well, it's summertime. Who got a fireplace? Maybe someone got a fireplace somewhere around here. <laughs> I don't know who that's for. Maybe things have been like a fireplace. Like things have been heating up. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, okay. Things have been <laughs> heating up like a fireplace because when you are being, um, when you are being stretched, when you are being stretched. I don't mean in a sexual way, people. When you're being stretched, your your spirit's being stretched. Um, like for instance, like you're being stretched to the good part. You're being stretched to the dark part. You're being stretched. So it's like one foot in your new abundance, one foot in the past life, and the people from your past life have, have that one foot, <laughs> and you're trying to <laughs> go back into your new life. Three, 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 and a timestamp. You're trying to go back to your new life, and it's like, oh, oh, oh. But I, I'm feeling like in the next couple of months, that door to your old life is gonna close because some sort of incident is going to happen. And don't get scared. It might be a really bad argument with somebody. It might be just, you had enough. It's gonna be like that, oh, thank you, spirit. The straw that broke the camel's back is gonna make you step into your abundance completely and leave the people from the past in the past. I love you. <laughs>